Good Saturday afternoon, everybody. It's David Schlothauer here with another weather forecast. To start off the video, here's a look at the latest day three categorical outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. And as you can see, we've been talking about this for the last few days, that there is a slight risk for severe weather that is maintained here as of the latest day three outlook. And you can get an idea where that is in central southern Ohio into southwestern Pennsylvania, northwestern and central portion there of West Virginia, and northern and northeastern Kentucky under that slight risk for severe weather. But the good news about all of this is that the Storm Prediction Center does not show any significant probabilities at this given time, which means this is just a plain old 15% risk without the hatched area, which is good news because we can get away with no significant hazards at the moment, such as hail, tornadoes, or wind. But nonetheless, there is that 15%. And anywhere in this risk, there is always a risk for tornadoes, wind, and hail impacts. Now, beyond the day three period, there is not much going on as far as any severe weather events goes. But I'm warning you right now, beyond the 19th and the 20th of April, and I've been talking about this over the last few days, that there is going to be a huge uptick in severe weather by the last full week of April into early May. We looked at that on Twitter yesterday, or X at this point, that there is going to be a huge uptick in severe weather. So right now, day four looks good, day five looks good, nothing to be concerned about, no highlighted area, good through day seven and even day eight no highlighted areas so rest up buttercups because once it gets active i have fear enough we're gonna have a lot of live streams going and a lot of more of these videos out because the weather is about to get wild especially the last week of april into early may now we're taking a look at the very latest 12z european model for your saturday here and this is a forecast for early next week and we talked about this system that is going to be popping up here, bringing even some snow for portions of Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. Yeah, some late season snow is coming your way. But also, there's going to be severe weather. That's what the day three is all about here on the SPC is because of this little guy that is going to be moving out of Canada, moving into the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. So as we go forward here by Monday afternoon, you can see this cold front draped across pretty much Indiana into the Ohio Valley. This is going to bring that severe weather risk over these locations, primarily over Ohio due to daytime heating and the timing of all of this. That's why there's that slight risk. And it's going to be primarily wind-driven, but don't be surprised if we get a few spin-ups with this along to go with some large hail. But it's really Monday afternoon when things are going to get a little on the active side, especially over Columbus, Ohio, in Southern Ohio, Eastern Ohio, into Pennsylvania. If you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, if you're in Buffalo, New York, if you're in Syracuse, you're definitely going to need to be aware of this one because... This is going to be mainly over the Northeast and the upper-ish Midwest area like the Ohio Valley. Not really for the Midwest, the Deep South, or the High Plains. None of that. It's going to be very quiet. It's just a localized area up there that we're concerned about. But look at how fast this actually moves, folks. I mean, come on. This front is literally in northern Indiana or northern Illinois by the start of the period on Monday. By the time we go into the evening commute, it's already in central Pennsylvania. And then literally, it's over New York City by about the 8 to 10 o'clock hour in Eastern Daylight Time. So this thing is going to be screaming through the area at pretty enormous speeds. I'm guessing this is going to be moving at least at about 70 to 80 miles an hour, this cold front. It is just going to be whipping. It is going to be blowing through like it is no tomorrow. And that is why the risk is really all not that bad because your impacts are only going to last probably for about an hour before this thing is all said and done. That rolls through and then maybe some lake effect snow behind that system and some much colder temperatures. It's not going to feel like April after all. It's going to feel more like February and March instead with all this colder air coming in out of the north because of that low pressure center. Now, after that storm system passes by very quickly on Monday, 
the weather pattern is going to get a lot quieter because of lots of ridging that's going to be in place over much of the U.S., but I'm warning you right now, do not get used to this, okay? We are going to get into a much more active, severe weather pattern by the last week of April, right around Easter Sunday and beyond is when things are going to get really busy. I'm concerned about mainly for the high plains, not this time for the Ozarks or for the eastern seaboard like we were seeing back in March and in April. This time it's going to be in the high plains. So make sure you walk your dog, you take Full advantage of the quiet weather. In fact, take a break from watching my channel because I'll tell you what, you're going to need to watch me a lot more once we get into the severe weather episode here by the latter part of April into early May. So this is for Thursday morning next week. We have elevated convection that is going to be spurting up over Missouri into Illinois and as well as into Iowa here. By the start of the period, you can see some of that convection over Illinois. There's a good surface flow, but the thing about this is there's a lot of dry air aloft. There's a strong capping inversion that's going to be overspreading the high plains here in the deep south. And that is why we're not getting any convection, despite that this surface flow is going to be so deep. We have tight isobars that southerly flow. But it's going to be into the afternoon hours of Thursday into Friday when we will have some showers and thunderstorms. And this could be locally severe, but nothing compared to what we will be seeing, especially after Easter Sunday. That is when I think we're going to have a lot more concerns, maybe for severe weather events or episodes. Perhaps even a severe weather outbreak is not out of the question. Somewhere in that time frame, running from the 20th of April through the 2nd or the 3rd of May in that rough time window, in that two to three week period. So that goes through. That's another fast mover. Again, bringing severe weather for the upper Midwest into portions of the Northern Plains and the Northeast, similar to with what we're going to have on Monday. I don't see it being a huge threat, but don't be surprised if we do get a significant hazard here of damaging winds or some large hail with some of these storms. And of course, maybe a tornado as well. That is probably non-significant. Now, after that goes by is when the High Plains really wakens up here. And this is the 20th of Sunday, all right, of April. And this is Easter Sunday. Darn it. Yeah, it, it has to happen on Easter Sunday. And this interrupts a lot of plans. All right. And you can see there it is. There's our next big system. And this one, folks, definitely has a look that we could have a severe weather event or an outbreak uh, breaking out here from northern Texas into Oklahoma, into Kansas, and Nebraska. Again, the 20th Sunday morning. Actually, these would be more somewhat elevated storms, but then becoming more surface-based by the afternoon due to surface heating. And you can see some of those storms moving in Arkansas and Missouri. That system moves out, and then look at we get just more pop-up storms, more typical for uh, mid to late spring type frame with a lot of energy in the atmosphere, thunderstorm juice for these storms to use up and utilize. And then it really looks like by the Sunday, the 26th of April is when we are really, really concerned about more significant severe weather. You can see it all right here. Perfect location with this ridge to surface high here. You get lower pressure over here. You get this perfect flow aiding in all that moisture off the Gulf of Mexico slash America. Some of you were making fun of me about me saying the Gulf of America in yesterday's video. I cannot help it, but look it up on Google Maps. Literally on Google Maps, hover over the Gulf of America. You'll see its name, Gulf of America. It is literally a thing, folks. And boy, I did not know it has 4.5 star rating because of the name change, and it has 6,916 reviews. It's not just on deterministic models from the Euro that are showing this. It's also on the ensembles showing a big signal for severe weather episodes 
by the last half of April into early May. We talked about that already. So there's a cutoff low moving into California that's going to bring us some showers maybe by the middle of next week. We have another trough that's coming down out of Canada. There's going to be a phase-up pattern that's going to show up here. These two troughs are going to merge into one, and this is going to get ejected into the plains while this one amplifies and moves southward. So you can see players on the field here really showing up by the weekend of the 19th of April and the 20th Easter Sunday, showing us that there is going to be this southwesterly flow that is going to be infecting moisture in off the Gulf of America. Can't help it to say that all the time. Should just say the Gulf, right? And then by Monday, the 21st and the 22nd, you can see there's the trough over the western half of the United States. You can see the height anomalies ridge over here. There's a lot of X posts, okay? If you follow X very well, you'll see them all over the place, literally oversaturating that, oh, there's going to be this severe weather event coming up. I do see that happening, but to what extent remains to be um, certain because there's signals telling us that, yeah, the pattern's going to wake up by the last week of April into early May. And it's even being indicated here on the chances of 500 joules per kilogram of thunderstorm juice, convective allowing potential energy. How much energy will these thunderstorms give off uh, when they blow up in the atmosphere, right? So 500 joules per kilogram on an ensemble is pretty decent. That means there's a pretty good chance that we have enough instability for showers and thunderstorms here in Texas, Oklahoma, into far northern portion of Kansas into Missouri, as well as even portions of Tennessee, but most likely right here in the High Plains is where we're looking at it, right in about here. This whole circled area, even up here perhaps, we could see some active or activity. Now going forward, this continues to be a thing. Look at, doesn't really back off a whole lot through the rest of the forecast, which means we are going to have to start watching the SPC very closely. I will be making my own outlooks for the Discord server. So if you all want to check out the Weather Force Discord server, there's a link in the description below this video where you can go check that out. But anyways, if you found this video really helpful, detailed, and informative, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that bell notification icon, hit the like button, and share this video with your family and friends on social media. As always, I do enjoy making these videos, folks, and I am considering going live tonight for, uh, for Saturday Night Live. It's a tradition on the channel now that once a week we try to do that, play some games, interact with you all. So if you're interested in um, tuning in tonight, um, please let me know in the comment section below this video as well. But otherwise, I will be back with you more on Monday, maybe going live on that Monday's severe weather threat. Just depends because this is going to be moving awfully fast over the Ohio Valley. But if not, I will have a video out for sure and something on Monday.